What's up guys, Leslie Robbins here for Young Hollywood. Yes, I am center ice in center field. It is the Kings Ducks game coming to you from Dodger Stadium and I am bringing you all the action. So did you ever think you'd see ice hockey outdoors Southern California? No, it's super weird. I can't wait to get out there and see what it's like. I mean, the last time I saw an outdoor hockey game was at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, and it was freezing. I, do, I love it. It's fantastic They're playing the Ducks. It's you know, two Stanley Cup champions uh, playing each other. That's unique for California, especially in Dodger Stadium. Kevin, you're a huge hat. Long Islander. Fellow Long Islander right here. Long Island. Islanders, Rangers, but it's about the Kings and the Ducks playing at Dodger Stadium right now. Yeah, it's crazy, right? It's a weird, weird thing. Yeah, I don't think it's too often with this types of games coming around, especially around here, so uh, it's going to be fun. Ice with palm trees in the background, it's, it's pretty unique and, and certainly going to be something I'll remember. Uh, this is going to be a great, great event. I'm really looking forward to having fun. You know, I moved here 27 years ago. Obviously, I didn't think I'd see the day, but then again, I didn't think that I'd see the day where Wayne Gretzky signed with the Kings, and that happened. You know, plus it's L.A. We do everything so much better than Michigan or these other, or Canada or these other places. Kiss played Dodger Stadium about 15 years ago on Halloween 98, but this is a special event tonight. Outside hockey in, in Los Angeles at Dodger Stadium. Never, you ever, haven't heard of that before. It's a lot different. Uh, having palm trees in the background and beach volleyball and everything, all that stuff, so it's gonna be uh, awesome. Did you ever think you would hear that sound in Dodger Stadium? I, I didn't, no, that's, uh, that's a new one. I don't think they've ever had that here. This is ultimately Hollywood at its finest. I guess so, showtime on ice. Did you ever think you'd see an ice rink in the middle of your field? No, never, never. <laughs> I, I, probably, I probably wouldn't even dream about there being a, a hockey game here. No, I never did think I'd see the day. I mean, and a few years ago, you couldn't have done this. The technology was was not as sophisticated as it is in terms of keeping the ice out there. But um, yeah, it's great. It's great for the sport. It's great for the city. It's great for these two teams. Even like just looking at the actual ice sheet, it, it seems like really small. But I think it's it's just because uh, everything around it looks so much bigger. Is this going to be the biggest audience you've ever played in front of? I think we're talking maybe about sixty thousand people. Uh, yeah, I think so. You know, it's going to be strange out there. You know, these guys do it every day, so we'll get a little taste of their life for a bit. Have you ever put on hockey skates before, and how does that go? Sure. Yeah, well, uh, I was a kid growing up in, in Pittsburgh. We had an ice skating rink at our high school that the Penguins actually practiced at, so you, you grew up uh, skating. Are you a hockey player at all? Do you get on the ice? I used to skate a little bit when I was younger. Uh, I never really played ice hockey, though. Uh, I would have liked to, though. I, I've always been into hockey, and I, I, I love it. So, well, Tell me, how's your hockey game going? Uh, not well right now, but I'll get back on it. Little known fact, I am an ex-hockey player. Yeah, I played, in high, I played one year in high school and one year in college. I made a team. I sucked. I had no stats. I didn't score any goals. I had one penalty. Um, I froze my butt off on the bench. What about you on hockey skates? Uh, yeah, I used to used to be better. Now I'm a little bit older, and uh, it's a little more painful, so not as much. I'm retired. I'm older than Yager. I never put on a pair of skates in my life, and I've never put on a pair of skates. That's not my sport. <laughs> Since we're at Dodger Stadium, and normally baseball players have a song they get to come out to, you get to pick a song, what would it be? Ooh, I don't know. You're putting me on the spot here. Um, you, you wouldn't know this song. It's probably, I would do Tage wie dieser from Totenhosen, German band. Yeah, you got to look it up. <laughs> be a tough one. Probably, I'm a big uh, house music fan, so I'd probably get some Avicii playing. Probably right now, Pompeii by Bastille. I've uh, been rocking out to that a lot. Wake me up before you go, go. Freak gasoline fight, you know, Zoolander. I think right now I'm on a real big Arctic Monkeys kick, so probably something by then. That's not a joke, that's a real band. Look them up, they're awesome. Pretend you're an athlete. What are you doing exercise-wise, eating fresh? What are you doing for this? And then I eat well and then I eat well. Eating is the most important thing. I do eat fairly well, thankfully. Um, right now I'm on a hiatus from workouts. Are you working out, eating fresh, still, what are you doing? Still working out, so I'm doing that, trying to eat well. If I was gonna prepare to be a hockey player, what kind of advice would you give me on working out, eating fresh, what do you do? All of the above. Uh, yeah, eat fresh, um, take care of your legs, that's uh, that's your money maker, I guess. I uh, I had a child, my first child, uh, almost 10 months ago. 
The minute he was born, I said, you know, I'm old, I'm 54, and I'm fat. I got to get rid of one of those. So I, I care about what I eat. And just generally, you got to watch uh, what we're eating. And, you know, we work out a lot. I've been, I go to the gym every other day, so. I just live a pretty clean life. Uh, I get to bed nice and early. Make sure you eat your greens and uh, wear a helmet. Are we eating Subway or what? Is this Subway commercial? Do you remember last time? Yeah. <laughs> we'll work with that. We'll send that in the Subway. Maybe you can get me a sponsorship. I don't exactly have a paycheck coming in right now. Subway, eat fresh. And there's a movie you're doing right now, this Entourage movie. How's it going? It's going good. We're only two days into it. We got a little ways to go, but uh, it's glad to, have, glad to have everybody back. And when you need a reporter on set, we'll be there. You. It will be you guys, first and foremost. I'm going to state the obvious here that your team isn't playing out on the ice right now. You mean they do Winter Classics without us? Kiss is on right now. We're missing Kiss right now. We have, I mean, we're actually missing Kiss. A few of the guys are giving me a hard time. There's a lot of Martinez's that have graced this field before me, and I'm just happy that I can, uh, I can follow it up maybe in a different sport this time around. Tell me your fondest memory of playing outdoors. Well, you know, we all loved it as kids, and the best part of being outdoors was coming in from the cold and your feet being frozen cold and your mom or dad rubbing your toes and you crying and bawling saying, I'll never do this again. And you're back out there again the next day. One, two, three, do it. He didn't do it! Oh. <laughs>